What's going on everybody, it's your boy Sbeez the Trackstar and welcome back to another dancehall video tutorial. So, another video we are over, you know, creating piano chord progressions, right? And I think this is kind of a, a very easy way if you go about it, but it's still a little complicated. So, typically in you know, a music, music is mats, is me? Cards are mats. So, let me give you like a, a simple explanation, right? So, boom. So, let's say we have... I load up keyscape too. So let's say we are we are gonna do something in a a minor scale, which is still a major scale because every minor have a relative major, meaning there is a major scale that have every note that the minor scale where you play have. So let's say we are work on a a progression, right? And we'll use C minor. We'll keep it in a C minor just for simplicity, right? So let's say we in a keyscape and then me say our gear number me say six five four one or one six five four one seven three or is me them they are just card codes see the thing is you can get the code but then knowing how to play the code is a whole different ball game right so let's let's put this tempo up about 100 all right and we'll go on our website mixingkey.com um i will just play any one of them like a card codes all right so this is the one five six four cool you have heard that before in a, a dance hall song some is me can't take nothing off the top of my head but me know for sure some hear that before so let's just take the code itself so one five six four right so when we come in the fl studio what that means basically is if you are in c c is the one right d is the two d sharp is the three f is the four g is the five right so the code is one five six four i believe so we have one five g sharp is the six and then would have come back to the f that is the four cool so it's one five six four. Yep, cool. So when you now space them out, right? I will stretch out all of them. Yeah? Let's go up to active. Cool. That's the code, right? But it's a card code. So if we construct the card, right? We in a minor scale. So we have C. We'll construct a minor card. A C minor card. Then we have another a G minor card. We have a G sharp major card. Then we have a F minor card. F rest the melody, right? So if we play it now. don't sound like much right but if we take the two cards in the middle and then drop them on active let's go up on the active right we have this now as a card progression i will speed this up a little bit so the notes them not drag let's put this on 30. so this is the card progression one five six four This sounds wrong. It sounds too high. Drop that down. Cool. If we then take this a step further, take all of the lowest notes, clone them, and add a bass note to everything. Cool. And if we drop it an active. I mean, that's a simple progression cool the thing is that of course there is no melodic you know elements to this and I'm like a tint in it you know like a fidget like a notes and move around nowhere cool so let's say we dash with this uh, we'll pick a different scale and all right so with the C minor we'll just go up to F sharp minor it don't matter what the scale the, the chord doesn't have 
and it couldn't really base off of the scale itself. So now we in a F sharp minor, right? If we go back on the website, let's just pick another one and we have the one, four, five, right? And if we play that, cool. So if we go in a FL, we have a one, four, five. So F sharp minor, or F sharp is the first note, G sharp is the second note, A is the third, B is the, <clears throat> the fourth. So we have one, what is it, one, four, five, or one, five, four? Um, one, four, five. So we have B and then C sharp, All right? So this is the melody here, or this is the chord. We typically always invert. So now we have, if we below the progression, right? Drop. And let me say, add a bass note. That's the progression. You can always, you know, change your your key. So we're in a F sharp minor right now. Now we can go to E minor. And when you go back to the chord, you would do the same thing. You'd drop all of your notes them down two steps. So now we have the one five four or one four five in a E. simple that's your foundation typically every melody is some form of code trust me but it's like we don't really talk about it in terms of code we just talk about it in terms of oh we are gonna build a melody you see me we just so going and you know we figure it out when you really sit down and think about maths but as a beginner when you learn knowing this now can really help you going forward. You understand what I'm saying? So I'll go back and we'll get another one and then this time we're going to take it to another level with melodies over the top of it. So if we have this right here, so one, four, six, five. Right, so one, four, six, five, right? And now this time we're going to do it in a, a major major skill so let's delete that let's replace this with a sample and we'll bring in the major skill so we'll do a major so this card code is one four six five i think one four six five cool so like i said it's just a matter of finding out the notes so one two three four five six and this is the five, right? So this is how this one laid out. Let's go up three active. So this is this progression. And we'll do this one in 100 BPM or around this one. Boom. So now fill out the card. So the first card is an A major card, B major card, F sharp minor card. And an E major card. Now tell me you never hear that in a dance or song. Wow, it sounds like a summertime, I think. It sounds like a popcorn song. I can't remember any. name. Party mod. Mm -hmm. Party god. Mm -hmm. I remember what the song name, but it's all like a popcorn song, isn't it? It's all about the quotes. So we're going to then add with bass notes. So clone them, drop them on active. Or we can even drop them to active, it not even matter. Boom. So now we have the foundation of our melody, isn't it? We take it next step. So the next 
step to this, we would add some realism, some feeling to it. You understand what I say? So what we're going to do is we're going to press Alt and R for bring up the randomizer. We're going to trouble the velocity right there. So make sure so you have levels turned on. If you don't have levels turned on, it's not going to affect nothing. So we're going to build a nice little thing. So now, another thing we can do is take this to the next level. If you want to add some feeling to it. So let's say we start this first card, soft. You know, then you can bring in the energy with the sex up. Is me like you kind of what would I call this would be the rest. So the last card in the progression would be the rest. So we can make it rest soft like that. Boom. Let me say I take this next level now. So we have a progression. We have a skill, right? We can shorten up all of them. I wouldn't need that no more. No, we can add melodics to the melody. We can add certain little things over top of the melody, you know. So, so let's go in. And like I said, when you add the melody, it's, it's really simple. You can just chop up the cards itself. So let's look this so we'll do this. So we'll do some we we'll do some simple melody first, then we'll put some more melody over the top of it. So if we start, we can just cut like one of them notes. Yeah. You see me? Simple. Just random, it's not nothing premeditated. I'm just a cut notes if them sound with them sound with them sound with them change them. Alright. So while we are doing that, what we can also do, we can add notes in between. Alright. So we have this big gap in between here. So we can add notes in there. And if it not sound good, we just change it. So we have E in the scale. So we have 
simple little melody. And you just add your little human touch to it. Isn't it? Change up velocity and. really just layering is me simple stuff just to speak at the strings up and we can keep you know the layers simple when I really have to do nothing too because we just need the first part of the, the card progression and you layer with your strings or whatever you want layer up with you know Like a pattern. No? Velocity can help. Can go up and active. A lot of different like you know, this I give me like a 2010s vibe. But there's a lot of different like things where you can do. So we'll go back or we'll change up the pattern that we can do the old school or the instrumental pattern. set leads like a square lead or some type of saw something along the lines there so all we can do is with them yeah can take out all of this we can add something like this. Open active. If we go up here, quantize that. Shorten it up. You know, basically, a 2010 style of rhythm. But this is just really about creating melodies. Um, so I don't go to take this serious. But I am going to turn this in a rhythm in a different video. This was just more so about creating melodies. So if we play everything together, we have... And we could always change the sound. We can use actual proper saw. Hopefully learn something from the video. Stretch a little bit longer than we did want, but it is what it is. Until next time, it's your boy SB is the track star. Also, before we get out of here, a link to the FLP pack containing MIDI files for this track will be on my website as well as in the Telegram group. Peace. <laughs>